okay so now i am going to cover uh, ui path queue okay and go to your studio and click on activities and uh, enter queue here okay queue and you will see here uh, there are no uh, lot of activities available under the queues add queue item add transaction item bulk add queue items delete queue items get queue items get transaction item so there are so many activities we will see one by one and before that and uh, before no uh, going into practical and we need to understand why queue and what is queue okay and let's say um, you are uh, no uh, you are going to uh, automate a process you no know, which is involving lot of transactions lot of the transaction in the sense uh, uh, let's say you are receiving the volume of 1000 uh, 2000 3000 4000 uh, transaction you are getting so if you run that you no know, entire 4000 uh, transaction uh, in one bot and it will take lot of time to complete it right so we need to split that work okay and we need to assign the those work you know uh, equally to uh, other bots other bot in the sense let's say i have uh, a b c d uh, i have uh, four bots and i have a um, um, 500 or 400 uh, let's say 400 400 transactions then i can you no know, allocate 100 100 100 400 you know each uh, bot i can uh, allocate 100 okay so this is no um, work allocation we we can say work allocation but the same concept only you know we are going to follow in the queue also in the orchestra in the ui path queue but there is a no a small difference so first and uh, we used to develop the bot that you know that should you know take the you know, transaction all the transaction all the 400 and it should you know push all the transaction into the queue where orchestrator queue okay and from there okay let's say you are going to build another bot okay it's you know it's going to only pick the transaction from the queue and it it's you no know, then it's going to process it okay there if i um, if i run uh, four bots at a time okay and all the four bots it will go and pick the transaction from the queue one by one in the first in first out method okay let's say uh, a no uh, it's a pick the, the transaction and b c d no all together pick the uh, each transactions and it's processing it and if it if it is no let's say b completed as soon as possible and then the b can take the other transaction so that's how uh, the queue management system will work okay like you no know, uh, it's in, in a real time uh, let's say bank example and uh, you no know, uh, you people know there are 10 people going to the bank and they are no uh, they are waiting for withdraw money and there are, there are no four counter to uh, there are four counter uh, to process that withdraw uh, process right so in that case um, if the people call you uh, based on the token and you first four people will go to the um, counter and uh, they will start processing it and who are com- no uh, complete that process as uh, as soon as uh, then the other person uh, the next person go to that uh, counter okay that is how the queue uh, transaction item will be picked okay and uh, so here we have a lot of activities and uh, so using these activity and we'll see how to add the transaction to the queue and uh, from there to how to get the transaction or how to process those uh, transaction and how to change this uh, transaction status everything no i will show you in a practical okay first uh, in order to use this particular queue activities and first we need to create a queue first okay and go to your orchestrator and uh, so i am into my tenant and uh, you can choose any one of the folder let me choose uh, this hr and uh, here you see the queue okay and click on queue and there is no queue here and uh, i am going to create a queue uh, let's say i am going to uh, uh, no um, build a bot for insurance claim okay so my queue name also it's related to my process and uh, let me name it as uh, queue insurance insurance claim okay so here i can give detailed description 
and uh, so you also uh, just you know in in a live uh, in the live um, process uh, you can give one you know, uh, the very detailed explanation here i mean the detailed description here okay the other thing is here uh, enforce unique reference okay if i check this option okay so i cannot uh, update the duplicate item okay for that you need to uh, while uploading the queue okay while adding the uh, uh, transaction into the queue and you need to mark any one of the column as a unique reference okay unique reference in the sense let's say i am going to uh, load uh, uh, the transaction is about account number uh, bank branch and branch address and uh, um, then emi amount these are the things then my unique uh, value is uh, i mean my, my unique reference is account number okay uh, let's say that uh, let's take you no know, another example i'm going to uh, add a uh, student uh, data into queue then in that case what is the unique reference student uh, roll number or student id okay and here okay i clicked the enforce unique reference and uh, the and one more option here you can see uh, auto retry okay so here there is a default one and uh, even no oh, if you uh, if you don't want to auto retry you can uh, uncheck this but i tell you what is auto retry let's say you have added a transactions and you are bought you know uh, it's it's a picked and you know it started processing but in middle of time you know there is an application exception or system exception and that particular uh, item got failed in middle of the process that time and uh, again you no know, if if we added the auto retry and if you add it to one and it will retry that same transaction one more time okay that is the reason here we have a maximum of retry but that but uh, i mean uh, that particular transactions okay as usual here you can uh, tag your uh, process name i can tag you know this is into this queue is related to uh, insurance claim okay insurance claim and uh, then uh i'm going to click on add okay i'm going to click on add and uh, so uh, i have a queue i, I mean uh, i created a queue okay here you see um queue insurance claim and description you can see and also the other couple of informations that is in process and remaining average time successful and app exception and business exception and process label and properties okay these are the columns you see here but if you go inside uh, view transaction there is nothing okay still now we are not you know added anything here in this queue okay let's uh, go back to studio let's start creating the queue okay i mean uh, let's start build the flow to add the item into the queue okay and go to uh, design tab click on new uh, click on uh, sequence so uh, first you know i am going to uh, use this particular uh, this um, activity add queue item okay first i am i will explain this add queue item so that i am going to create a add queue item click on create okay now drag and drop this add queue item okay and you will have a uh, no, lot of options here i will explain one by one first you have to select your folder okay and that is uh, which is available uh, from H i mean the folder is hr department because your queue is available in the hr department and the queue name uh, you can choose the queue name and uh, there is a there is a only one queue that is the ui i mean the queue insurance client and uh, then here you need to pass your uh, data okay let's say in excel there are uh, multiple columns and there are multiple rows okay transactions item then you can you, you need to pass it here that i will show you how to pass okay or else let's pass okay here i'm going to hard code uh, the data okay in order to test it so i'm going to uh, pass same data like you no know, um, bank bank account okay so this is for uh, bank um, our account number and here i'm going to create a variable account number enter 
and let's say uh, my account number is one two three, and here uh, a bank branch branch. Okay, so bank branch. So I'm going to give like you no know, Chennai, and uh, so which bank? bank name and uh, so i will you know mark the ic ici and here you now let's say what let me add one more column that is emi okay and control k str emi okay and i am going to provide some emi amount 5400 okay these are the uh, uh, value okay let's say let's consider these are the you know uh, this is the transaction and i am going to pass it uh, to the queue and uh, click on this collection okay the item information and here you need to add a key here okay the key is uh, let's say account number okay account number and uh, that is uh, for all the variable which I created string okay leave it as the type as string and now I'm going to call uh, no allocate my uh, uh, variable here uh, str account number which means this key will be you know, created here as a column uh, column header inside the queue and it will be this key will be created as a column header and uh, this this value will be stored into that uh, into that value okay so let's click on add entry and uh, uh, bank name okay go here call str bank name and click on add entry here uh, branch okay here i'm going to call branch and then uh, here uh, emi okay so now i added the key and i pass that value okay whichever i know stored into the uh, assigned uh, in, i mean whichever stored in a variable okay now that is done so here you have a deadline and you have a postpone and you have a priority and also you have a reference let's say uh, here in this uh, queue and uh, what i done in this queue and uh, i added the retry okay I, I added the retry and also i added the infos uh, infos uh, unique reference right then in my case i have to provide the unique, uh, unique reference uh, because if i added the unique reference i may avoid the duplicate of uh, adding the uh, transactions okay so I'm going to call that str account number as a unique reference and here there are two more options uh, deadline uh, post part and I will tell you what is deadline let's say this is the transaction if I added a deadline uh, let's say here no uh, 11th okay this particular transaction should be completed before this date and time okay before this date and time and uh, leave about this deadline okay i'm going to remove this and here one more uh, uh, option is available that that is post part if added you know some dates here okay and this particular transaction will be processed after this uh, date and time okay that is the difference between deadline and post part okay i'm not going to give anything uh, here and i will give and you know test it with a different uh, transaction um so here you see a uh, continue on error if there is any uh, duplicate and it will throw an error so in that case you can you know uh, click on true okay and i will click on true as of now okay let me run this and see whether the queue items are getting loaded into orchestrator queue or not and here step into step into and now it's stored uh, account number bank name branch emi okay now it's going to add queue item right and execute it now it's done okay now go to orchestrator okay and refresh your queue that is the insurance climb and go inside and uh, click on view transaction and you see here there is a new item added okay new 
uh, transaction added with a reference number one two three and uh, priority is normal okay that i will tell you what is normal medium high and if you click on this uh, view more and click on view details and you will see the key account number one two three and the bank name this is the key and this is the value okay and the branch chennai and emi 5400 these are the keys and these are the values okay so this is done by let's say you know there is a i told you right in the re framework there is a two concept one is dispatcher and performer and in the dispatcher only know it moves all the transaction to the queue okay let's say you no know, this is the dispatcher and it's moved all the transaction into queue okay and the performer if i do, uh, if i create a performer and what it will uh, do it will pick the transactions and you know it start processing it and then it will change the status like you know uh, in process completed or faulted or you know anything you know based on the uh, process uh, status okay uh, as of now leave it is we are now only uh, 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 only you know uh, we are doing for uh, uploading the items into okay now let me go here so here i have given the reference number as a unique reference right so i am going to uh, add same account number and check whether it is going to up, uh, added a new item or not okay and uh, just uh, click on continue and uh, it's uh, entire you know, activities are executed and go here in the um, orchestrator and refresh it see there is still only one record is available one transaction is available because here i given uh, the reference number okay that is the reason uh, it's it's not added the item so let's say i'm going to change the item uh, one two three uh, instead of uh, four, i'm going to add one two four and let me uh, only one this account number remaining leave with the as in uh, bank you know it may be the same bank uh, same branch and the emi amount will be the same and if i run this continue and now go to go back to orchestrator and refresh see here there is a next transaction item added into the queue okay that is with the reference of one two three, one two four and if you go and click uh, view details here you can see that uh, key and uh, value okay this is all and the other thing is let's say i am going to add one more uh, transactions okay which is this which this i mean uh, this transaction should be processed okay should be processed before uh, uh, 10th okay maybe 10th uh, 12 uh, am okay then if i added the deadline okay if i run it if i click continue and the execution is over and if you go here there is a new transaction added with the deadline okay then this transaction should be picked uh, before uh, here is okay here is the date 9 and 6 30 pm let's say you have thousands of item okay but the bot you know uh, the bot which you know going to process the item it will pick this item as soon as possible okay before this 6 30 pm okay and uh, here also priority we have a normal let let's go back here and here the, you know you can see a priority and if you added you know high uh, so those transaction will be you know um, picked uh, uh, in the first uh, in, the, in the first okay and uh, so i'm going to remove this deadline now for the next transaction i'm going to add a postpon so let's say uh, so this particular transaction you no know, it showed a process after 10th uh, 12 am okay then uh, so i am going to change the account number again uh, for uh, showing this postman and if i step into click on continue now go back to orchestrator and refresh it and you see the priority status is high but it should uh, um, it should process after the uh, this date okay but here you see the priority it should not be high it should be low and you can you know uh, give based on your uh, requirement okay so this is how uh, we need to use uh, this particular add queue item 
to add your transaction into queue and then the later the next uh, process no it can pick the transaction and it will process it that i will show you how it will pick and how it's no going to process it then how it will no change the status as a um, uh, successful okay